let's look at vector files for a minute. Uh, what is a vector file? Um, it's really easier to just show you if you're not very familiar with um, artwork files. Um, this, will, this will make a lot of sense just seeing it in action, the difference. Um, I found this small little doggy on, um, on Google, just did a search, and he is um, 500, uh, roughly 500 by 500 pixels. That is, that is a very small file. And as you see, when you try to go look at it up close, this thing, um, when you try to make it larger, it is, it is rough. Um, yeah, so what's the point of this? Um, I had a graphic shop once, and um, maybe you do, uh, maybe you have other reasons for trying to learn about vector files, but people... Uh, want to come in, they want a banner made. You ask for artwork, they throw you a business card down. This is what I'm talking about. You get, you scan it, you get an image like this, and then you try to tell them that, um, let's, uh, let me show you. We will change this to inches, and a banner is, an eight foot banner is uh, 96 inches long, maybe 48 inches tall, uh, and you see what I'm talking about? This would be your banner, you know. And if they wanted this logo on one side, right now it looks pretty good, but look, when you get up close, this thing looks hideous. Did you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know. They're gonna they're not gonna like their banner if it looks like that. So, what do we do about that? Well, Let's go back in here and um, we had this thing back down. Uh, it was, it was. I mean, you can tell it was still, it was still, it was way smaller than this. But that's a good starting point. We'll take this. Um, got the image selected. We're gonna hit the uh, trace the bitmap. Let's go to um, detailed logo and automatically. CorelDRAW comes up with this image compared to this image. You can see the background is already gone. That's good. You don't want the background. Um, let's see. Check the colors. You want to see how many colors. It says nine colors right here. Should not be nine colors in this. So you got colors. You got uh, that is looks like the eye. That is the nose. We're going to hit control click. I have both of these selected now and merge so that reduced one of those colors what do we got here we got this leg we got that leg and then the nose all right these two colors also we will merge so those are all now the same one color this is the background legs we got this part of the body uh, this ear and this part of the body these look close enough so we will merge these also. Bam. All right, and whatever whatever this white is, it is not picking up. We will 86 that. All right, so now we've got pretty good looking dog. Let's go back over to settings. Might wanna let's see if we smooth him up a little bit. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. Mm, yeah. That'll work. I like that. All right, so now we've got their logo into a vector file. So let's put, uh, yep. All right, so we have the non vector here and the vector file here. Now, to show you the difference, we're only six and a half inches wide. I'm going to flip him over. Um, close enough, six and a half. There we go. So now, all right, now let's go back to this poster. I'm going to take this one and make this guy basically half of the poster. And we'll make this guy half of the poster. Actually, I made him even a little bigger. Again, vector file. Now let's see what happens when you get this in to the real uh, size here. So 
let's hit uh, yeah let's hit our um, our zoom we'll take this thing into um, full size so I'm not prepared. I really am not prepared. sorry here we go so let's go to 100 percent no there we go I can tell you right now this is your uh, non vectored doggy looks terrible right and move on over here oh wow look at this do you are you starting to see now what's going on here no pixelation here let's see here we find the camera over here this is his nose okay i'm gonna go over here and let me, let me just back out a little bit you can see these two basically non-vector 